हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस सीरीज ऑफ प्राइस कंपेरिजन ऑफ डिफरेंट सुपर मार्केट्स इन नैदरलैंड सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंपेयर फोर डिफरेंट सुपर मार्केट्स एज आई मैंशन इन माई लास्ट वीडियो चेक माई लास्ट वीडियो इन द टॉप राइट इन्फॉर्मेशन कार्ड आई टैग इट सो दे आर आई शो ड्यू डिफरेंट सुपर मार्केट्स अवेलेबल इन नैदरलैंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू uh compare some common items like milk cheese butter milk rice lentils and how the price varies in different supermarkets i think you can see properly the search box always use chrome if you are seeing it from outside or anywhere it helps you to translate dutch to english but still you should know some dutch items because while searching i'll show you knowing dutch helps otherwise you won't find those items uh, properly so let's see the price of milk in yumbo first j is pronounced as ye in dutch and this is albert hein this is aldi and this is lidl so aldi and lidl it seems that they don't have a proper search box to search the items and online uh, although the products are really really cheap but you have to compare the quality some products i don't like the quality as compared to albert hein and yumbo so once you go to all these shops you will know but still i'll just compare the price of all this so let's see the price of milk in yumbo first okay so as you can see because i typed in english so you also see different milk chocolates and other things but if you type in dutch which i'll show you in albert hein it will be much easier okay this one so they have some offer or something and the half vole uh, actually there are three types of milk basically half vole vole and meager so half vole is like the half skimmed milk vole is uh, double tone milk without any i mean with all the fat and half vole is half fat and meager is without any fat i don't like meager i always prefer half vole but it depends on you some people buy half vole some people buy uh, vole so it depends on you and you can also find like n different flavors of milk like strawberry milk fruit milk chocolate milk different kinds of milk here you find a lot of varieties in this like a common boring dairy can be converted into 100 different varieties in netherlands i mean any part outside india or asia i think in asia also you find different flavors but it's limited uh so it's like 77 cents per liter the price of a half vole milk 2 liter so per liter it's like 77 cents as you can see here so it's approximately 63 rupees considering the current euro rate but as i said earlier i am it is for all the international so i am not going to do it in rupees so you need to do the math let's see in albert hein what's the price of the milk uh yeah so when i type milk you see in my top searches i don't see the real milk that is because if you even if the page is translated the search box in those sites are indexed as per the dutch name so the dutch name for milk is very simple it's milk let's type yeah now you see that first search result is for the half skimmed milk so is it the same or is it still cheaper 1.5342 liters the same one half of is semi skimmed milk 1. oh okay so here you see like now the the price of both the milk is same in so milk is around this price you need to know per liter 77 cents just mark it somewhere uh here i'm not sure maybe let go to fresh dairy because they don't have a okay okay so here also it's the same that's strange thing because i see sometimes aldi and lidl have really cheap products but it seems today that the semi skim milk today on 17 january 2019 is same in all these websites and should i go to lidl no it will waste your time just let's move for other products let's see for cheese so cheese in dutch is called kaas k w a s kaas let's see if we get good results in cheese otherwise we'll go to kaas okay if we type cheese we get cheese and we also get uh cheese pizza so let's try kaas if we get authentic only cheese results in the top yeah that helps see so even if you translate the page please my friend please try to remember some dutch words and that will help you a lot you never know things help dutch food words especially like milk kaas try to pronounce when i say repeat 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 and you remember okay kaas so there again there are many varieties i will only go through some of the top searches so this is from i think khoda 
that is like uh, a, this is the age I think the 48 plus is like the age let me translate okay uh, 48 plus slices young pasteurized cow's milk it is and one thing to note the dairy in Netherlands is really of very high quality so whatever dairy you find here is really really good that's why all the dairy related products like yogurt buttermilk cheese everything is really of top-notch quality this is approximately for 500 grams is 3.6 euro so it's like 7.5 euro per kilo and this will have i think is it mentioned this has generally like some slices of cheese because there are like blocks of cheese slices of cheese shredded cheese mozzarella uh, old edged cheese there are a variety of cheese so let's see gosh i think i should continue with all the dutch terms to get the result properly okay so here you see some spicy grated cheese which is even cheaper in Albert Heijn which is surprising this one I buy a lot there is another old Amsterdam cheese and cheese I'm not a big fan of cheese so I don't know much about cheese but still which I use I can mention the Koda cheese G is pronounced as Ko Ka and Ha like hybrid of it is cheaper uh, not cheaper but it's like same price I think Okay, now it's expensive. So per kilo, it's 15 euros. The one we saw, this was like per kilo 7.5. Mm -hmm. But this is really famous and of very good quality, the Koda cheese. I think Koda cheese will be also expensive in Yambo. May not be as expensive as Albert Hein, but... Yeah, so there are many varieties. Whatever I know, like you can find spiced cumin cheese, spicy cheese, uh, cheese made from fenugreek seeds, if you are Indian, then maybe you like the cumin fenugreek or maybe the authentic cheese from here. If you don't like any spice cheese. So there are a lot of cheese. So just go through the way I said, type cas and go through all the prices. It will make the video long. I won't go through all of them. And in Aldi and Lidl, it's difficult because they don't have a search box. So you need to go through the products and search like this one by one. So for the sake of the video to save time, I won't compare Aldi and Lidl, but you can go through them online just going through the products because it doesn't seem to have any such box and it's difficult. Let me close it. Okay, so let's move fast. So let's type buttermilk. Buttermilk, it took me like six months to find it. You will be surprised because I did not know the Dutch name and one of my friend recommended it. And till that time, I didn't know that buttermilk is called uh, carne milk. Actually, butter is Boter in Dutch, B-O-T-E-R, but uh, it's it doesn't translate like that. So buttermilk is carne milk. So let me type carne milk. Uh, you see, I don't know very fluent Dutch. I can understand some words after having some little training of three, four months. But I know many food items by name, by heart, because I go to supermarkets every day and I've been staying here for more than three and a half years. So that helps. Let's type carne milk. Let's type carne milk here. Okay. Okay. So this gives the result very fast. So for one liter carne milk, it's okay. One thing I forgot to mention in all these products, you will also find a bio variety of products, which is without any pesticides or chemicals. I mean, generally they don't use pesticides, but it's like without any interference. So it's done in the natural way, the bio one. And the other one may not have pesticides, but it has some human interventions and it's not completely in the natural surroundings or natural. So you have bio chicken, bio dairy, bio fruits, bio vegetables, bio banana. Let me see, carne milk. Okay, in Yambo, it's approximately for one liter. I'm only seeing the top results, 94 cents. And in... Uh, Albert Hein, it's approximately 98 cents for one liter carne milk. Again, in carne milk, you have n different flavors. See, this is the organic buttermilk. But maybe now they have an offer. Oh, no, no, it's only 500 ml is this. So the organic buttermilk is expensive. That's what I was thinking. How is it cheaper? Okay. Uh, so they might also have. So you have also different brands and everything is good. I mean, the quality of food and everything in Western Europe is really of very, very high quality. So don't be uh, don't panic for that. It's much better than from where you're coming. 
okay so now what do we see maybe see rice so rice is called rice in dutch you see a lot of options okay it's fun to search through them again and again for you okay so i eat this uh, it may sound very boring but if you are from the southern part of india like kerala or maybe eastern part of india you might know what is the red rice we eat it's actually brown rice but it has that husk on it that red one that is very very healthy for your body with a lot of fiber so here you find the brown rice which is similar to that and i like it a lot in yambo it's 1.4 per kilo i think in albertan it's like uh yeah a little bit expensive so i pay like 2 euro okay so it's like 2 euro for 1 kilo it's expensive uh but again the things vary so you cannot compare like that there are difference in quality difference in quantity so it's the thing so here it's two euros here it's 1.4 euro per kilo in that is the brown rice and if you are favor of white rice then this is the normal white rice which is okay not that good which is like 1.2 euro per kilo and they also sell basmati rice which is like 1.9 per kilo this local basmati rice is also sold in albert and i bought once five kilo packet so one kilo is 1.94 1.9 so it's almost same like 1.9 euro uh, for basmati rice and this is the i mean the common basmati rice that you use not the special one with the long grain and nice flavor that one is really expensive you can find in those asian supermarkets like maybe kirana or you can go to a supermarket that is like for one kilo i remember it was like three or four euros so it's expensive so if you are coming for the first time maybe you can bring two kilos but i won't advise because it will make your luggage very heavy so better to buy it here whenever you want to eat and reduce eating the basmati high quality rice that is the mostly found in Dehradun or the india gate or I, I forgot the name i don't want to kohinoor or there are many varieties so those kind of rices you find it here they're imported so that's why they charge like three or four euros per kilo it's generally not found in that basmati rice is not found in the yambo or albertine okay let's move fast so let's see chicken chicken is called kip so as i mentioned for chicken it's better to go to turkish supermarkets if you want to buy it really cheap price similar to what you pay in asia or india but here you can buy you have everything in a supermarket so chicken is like 14.5 euro per kilo if you want it to be cut the boneless cut one and the boneless without cut is always in the range of 10 euros per kilo and the bone one why doesn't it show in the top maybe it's not popular so the bone on the drumstick that is the legs uh drumsticks skip drumsticks are approximately five euros it's always like that 4.5 euro per kilo and so remember these terms you can type it and see in details so in albert hein that the drumstick no it's the fillet fillet is always expensive like 10 euros i think it's the same the prices are same so if you see the drumstick yeah i mean it's almost the same so the fillet is approximately it was 10 point something there okay 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 so this is 8.5 in albert Hain. so albert Hain now it's cheaper so this is the thing when you compare you know all these prices so you need to compare okay what's the what more what more what more you need in the beginning let me see the list okay okay you also find normal yogurt you can type normal yogurt and find it like the solid one and you also have different options like maybe the greek yogurt which is really thick and in normal yogurt also it took me a lot of time to settle down and know which one is better but i would say you would never buy please don't buy the uh, the yogurt in the tetra pack always try to buy this kind of a bucket yogurt it has a lot nice and fresher taste and those are generally really good similar to what you make in home in india or maybe buy in india it's exactly the same what you get in any parts of asia this one the cup one so cup one these are the fruit flavors but there is one the problem is i'm forgetting the dutch name that's why 
that's name is yogurt but uh, what was the name bio culture yogurt or something like that i i forget the name because when i go to the shop then i find it okay these are the something like that they are generally sold in a 500 gram uh, uh, cups so you need to go through the market and find this so this is the biological half bole one which is made from the culture it's like 1.8 euro per liter uh, so that things you need to find and this is the like the uh, yeah i mean there are many varieties so the price will be approximately like if you buy the biological one that's like 1.7 otherwise i think it's like 1 or 1.2 euro per liter there is another cheaper one which was really good little bit on the liquidity side not very solid but that was like something like i think it was like i don't remember but it was like four or five uh, i think it was like five euros Mm, no not five euros so it was like uh, 1.2 euros or something like that or oh, okay the cheaper one was 90 cents for one liter yeah it was 90 cents for one kilo not one liter 90 cents so i don't remember that name or you can buy the greek yogurt which is like 1.7 euro for one kilo which is really thick and nice let's see some fish so fish is called wish yeah, it's called this. Or did I type it wrong? Uh, I think I type no. Oh, I type it wrong. It's this. V uh, I S, not V I S H. Okay. So here, uh, salmon is very popular, but you find different varieties of fish. So you can find like salmons which is really expensive this one is 45 euro per kilo it is smoked one i think the normal salmon is always in the range of like this 20 to 30 it always varies between 20 euro to 30 euro and generally albert hand has its own card which is free of cost they give you in a student box when you arrive in netherlands or maybe you can go to albert hand and bring that uh, card which is given free of cost so if you have that then some products in albert hand every week when you have those offers you can use that card to get those special offers which are valid only when you have that free card then you get those discounts so that's how you can gain so always look out for these discounts like in yumbo and all also they don't have a card but they give weekly discounts to certain section of products so generally what i do is i eat those vegetables in those week it may sound very stupid but that's a good way to save money like if you have cauliflower as an offer in a week then eat cauliflower that week and if you have beans as an offer in one week beans are really expensive then eat beans that week so what are all the vegetables that you find it's already getting late i'll just mention in fast detail so here you can see salmon which is really expensive generally this salmon this is sufficient to eat for two times so it's like 6.5 so you can eat occasionally if you're a student and you are spending a lot and i saw chicken mushroom so i won't show mushroom it will be too late uh, maybe i'll show you wheat flour wheat flour is called volcoren tarwemil so that is the atta that we eat otherwise you can buy atta from the asian supermarkets don't worry uh, and if you want any other food items or any other recommendations that you want to see in the future videos then please comment below and raise your questions raise your concerns so i'll make another video if i missed major things but i think i covered the essential food items when someone comes in the beginning so you can also find pasta and other things because when i tie volcaren it shows macaroni and this kind of things these are the breads volcaren tarimel bread and actually the flour it doesn't show on the top because yeah now you see it so you need to type it properly so it's like 1 euro 1 kilo so the local one is very cheap although it is not similar to the our atta it is a little bit coarse and the atta that we use is little bit fine flour so you can buy it the imported one from the asian supermarkets and you can also buy bread so breads also you have like 50 100 varieties some breads have sesame seeds some breads have pumpkin seeds uh, some are like the whole wheat bread some are like the normal wheat bread white bread brown bread there are many varieties and many healthy options if you are a health conscious person 
and let's see cauliflower cauliflower is called bloim cool so bloim means flower and cool i don't know so it's expensive now 2.9 euros per kilo i think in winter some vegetables are really expensive so that also depends on the season in summer some vegetable prices go down winter maybe they are imported or maybe because of the frost or it's not doesn't snow that much but still it's like it's cold uh bloim cool Okay, how much is it in Yambo? Albert handed us 2.9 per unit. So this will be approximately, I don't know, like it looks something like a kilo size or something. Mm, okay, it's the same, almost the same. I think it's, oh, no, it's cheaper. It's 30 cents cheaper. 30 cents matter a lot when you are coming from which part of Asia or outside of Netherlands. Uh, so you can find different vegetables like cauliflower, carrot, beans, uh, cabbage, uh, brinjal that is the aubergine or the eggplant I think it will be easier if I type aubergine there is also aubergine written in Dutch uh, aubergine aubergine okay now it seems expensive I remember two years back I, I think it was in summer it is below one euro but in winter it's one point so this is again like approximately 500 grams this one piece will be approximately 400 to 500 grams uh, Aubergine 1.3 okay it's the same all over the supermarkets and what's about bean bean was born in I don't know I don't remember uh, okay these are the flat beans these are frozen one packed one no no we want the fresh thing okay this is the thing when you are in front of it then you remember but now I'm forgetting the exact names so you just remember you can find you will type in Google uh, the beans carrots so these are the common vegetables tomato potato onion ginger garlic chilies so for chili generally spicy people won't find much options but still there is a chili pack which is very expensive like 1.5 euros but there you find some types of chilies where well, what was that well it was a rabbit pepper yeah that's a, i think so this is the name yeah, so rabbit pepper 50 gram is 1.6 euros. I think in yeah, here they had a mix of rabbit and rabbit was similar to what we eat in India. Oh, no, no, no. There was a result. It went away. Where was it? Was it? Yeah, this one in Albert Hein. Rabbit pepper red and uh, green mix. This is spicy. I mean, f I think it is like above medium, above medium spicy. It's not very low and it's sufficient, I think, as if you want to if you eat medium spicy or maybe a little bit more then i think this will be sufficient for you mm, this is like 1.5 euros uh, so bean price is also like 2 euros for 500 gram and uh, carrot so vegetables are limited i mean if you compare to india china or other parts vegetables here are limited you don't find uh, uh, parwal that we have in India I don't know how to say it in English and we don't you don't find uh, I mean there are many vegetables here so most vegetables are like carrot bean uh, cauliflower cabbage and I've repeated that many times and spring onion you you find spring onion and you find pumpkin so pumpkin is again like there are many different types the pink one that we eat the yellow pink golden that is very limited so the here we find corgate that is a elongated version which is the zucchini which is like one point it varies between one to one point two three euros this is again like 500 or 600 gram so this price will most be this almost be the same in both albert and yambo so you can have zucchini yeah and you can find this so i cannot cover everything this video is already long so you can find this smoothie juices mix spread for the bread and many other things so please comment below if you comment below i will make a section category and when i find my free time i will make other detailed videos on uh, other needs of what you want to see like maybe some breakfast ideas or some ideas which will save you time when you're a student and please please don't forget to subscribe and share i have always said that before subscribe and share my content subscribe and share to my channel and share these videos among everyone and don't forget to hit a thumbs up if you like the video 
next information videos for newcomers to Netherlands. Peace.